Hi guys, my name is Mitz and I'm on a Windows 7 computer and what I want to do today is show you how to find your files, find your photos and um, just find a few things around the computer. So this is the desktop so if anyone says oh you know just click on this on your desktop well this is it right here okay you've already started the computer you've logged in um, so you have put your username and password in and this is what you see now these are desktop icons on here and um, that little arrow just means it's a shortcut to the program okay so I can click on some of these things to start programs but other things that I've got here are just files that I've actually dropped on here. So just for an example, this one here is a text file because I can put my um, mouse over it and the details come up and it tells me it's a text document. Okay, so it'll just have a, a bit of um, writing on it, you know, just like a notepad file. Okay, um, this is an Excel um, worksheet okay because obviously I moused over it again and the details are coming up for me now I've also got folders on here as well now this is probably the most important thing you know I've I've thrown these files in to the folders just to keep them a little bit more organized but because um, I do my work on my computer as well there's a lot of stuff going on here obviously so that is the desktop if I want to start a program I could just click on it here so let's just press on this one um, okay so I'll just log into this one this is pretty funny this one I'll just get rid of it now this is the cameras for a shop that we own uh, like a petrol station and stuff like that so I can see what's going on and what the staff are doing so anyway, I'll get rid of that. And um, anyway, so as you can see, you can just log in and just click on that and you can start a program. It might take a while. It depends on the program. Okay, so this is the VLC media player. So if I want to play something, I'd just um, go and say open file or open folder. Alright, so I'll close that. Just press the cross up in the corner to close it. Okay, so let's go to the... Uh, when I mouse down here, okay, I've got this um, taskbar sitting here. Um, now I've got some icons on here, just in case I can't get to the desktop. These are my handy icons that I want to use all the time. So when I mouse over here, I can see that I have one window open for Chrome. See, nothing for Internet Explorer. Okay, if I go down here, no. I've got something open here. I've got that program that I just opened. And I'm also recording this, so I've got this open as well. So these things here are the same thing as before you can click on them and it opens the program okay so I'll just close that one that's the paint program right so here's the start menu and I have some items in here again that start programs um, now what I've done is I've pinned some of these to the start menu so how I did that was I found them in this list where it says all programs I clicked on it and just say uh, I've got to pick one of these so just say this one photo gallery um, all you have to do is make it blue so whatever you're hovering over so it's blue right click on it and go up here and say pin to start menu now if you want to pin it to the taskbar down below just pick this one instead so that's what I did with my notepad and my um, 
paint program, all those basic things that I need. So just say you use Microsoft Word a lot, you might want to find that in the list here. Oops, pressed on something. Um, you might want to find Microsoft Word in the list and um, you might want to pin that to the taskbar. Alright, so that's about the programs and stuff. So what we've got over here is, uh, this is my user account name. Now, everything under my computer that I'm using is in there. Okay, but it's also got some folders out here. So it's got documents out here, pictures, music. These are some of the things that would be in here anyway. Okay, so let's click on MITS. And what we have is we can get to the desktop, which we're seeing right now. Um, we can get to my pictures. So anything stored under this username is in there. Same with music. Um, and it also has a downloads folder. So just say you download something, it usually gets taken straight to there. So you can find, um, you know, um, your downloads in there because sometimes you download something and you can't find it because uh, Windows just puts it away automatically. So if you're looking for it, it'll be in your username and in your downloads folder. Alright, another thing is the documents. You can just go in there and uh, there's all your documents right there. But, of course, we can get to the documents from the start menu as well. It's the exact same folder, okay, that we just, uh, we went into it twice, but two different ways. Now, this, uh, these are the files and folders and stuff that you create yourself, all in here under your username. Now, if we go to computer, okay, press on it. This will show the hard drives that you have or any um, like a CD player or DVD player and down here it's got an SD card that I've got in slotted into my laptop as well. So it shows um, you know everything. So just say I just connected uh, another hard drive like an external hard drive to my computer it would show up here. Okay so if you want to just say you want to put a CD into your laptop. Well, what you need to do is come to this computer section and you'd be able to see it. Okay, so as soon as I put a CD in there, it'll come up and say what CD it is. And then I can click on it and go in it. Okay, so some people have trouble um, finding things and um, this is where it is. So just say you insert a USB stick you know, because it's got a photo on it that you want. Well, this is how you find it. So as soon as you insert the USB stick, um, it'll come up here. Now, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to remove that SD card. Okay, I'm just going to take it out. There we go. I just took it out. Okay, so now it is not accessible because it's not in the laptop. So now I'm going to put it back in and this comes up and it says do you want to view the folders and blah 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 I just close that but there it is again so that's how quick and easy it is um, this happens with all basically from Windows XP upwards so this is what you'll see um, of course if you put a incompatible USB stick in or something like that it won't show up okay uh, you might need to go to a newer computer to do that. Right, so this is where you find everything. Now this um, local disk here, local the C disk, is usually where Windows is stored, okay? So we'll click on it. Now if you look down, it'll say Windows. Now I suggest right that you never ever go in there okay because it should not be touched there should not uh, you should not store files in there you shouldn't do anything okay because unless you're an, a computer technician whiz 
you know, computer freak, rah, 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 just don't go in there. In fact, there's absolutely no reason to go to C drive like I just did. Okay, because if I just go back, uh, we don't need to. And the reason why is because we do not, all we need to do is go here to MITs and documents and pictures and stuff. Now, these are our files. Okay. Now, um, the other thing is that we have the control panel okay um, so let's click on it it's got lots and lots of um, different things in here and I could not possibly go through them all now you might land on the categories like this but um, you can choose from here you can choose different things okay so go to icons go to small icons all right, let's go to large icons and like this. So let's have a look at it. So you can see it says device management, folder options. It's got everything here, fonts, um, printers. Okay, um, it's even got internet options, which is over here, network and sharing center. So if you can't find anything, it's usually in here. Okay, we've even got the firewall. Windows update. See, so you can check if you need updates. Um, it's got the user accounts. It's got absolutely everything in here. You've just got to know which one to press. Okay, um, one common thing is the sound. Okay, to set up the sound for your computer, uh, you might have a problem where your microphone doesn't work or something like that. Well, it'll be in there. All right, um, thanks for watching. I hope that helps a few computer basics. Um, I know it's a really huge um, thing to learn, the computer, but what, if you just keep doing it and keep looking and finding things, the key to everything is to open your eyes and read the screen. All right, thanks for watching.